See, it's been fist fighting since she was born. You will learn. You will learn your place. Your is dead. She be gaming. It's me. I'm back. And welcome back to our Forsworn mini-series. And back to our character, Sia. We're continuing her story today. And we're going to find out what's next for Sia. So as she warms herself by the fire here, let me give you a little bit of a recap in regards to our episode one. Sia was sent on a mission from her Briarheart to go to Markarth and look into the Forsworn people that have been imprisoned in Markarth's jail. She's tasked with finding a way to help them escape, help free her people. She was successful in finding a way into the jail it was an easier task than she expected it to be. She simply got arrested upon arrival. And she was arrested for killing three people as part of her coming of age trial to become a full part of her Forsworn tribe, which she passed with flying colors, not without the help of her tribe's men and tribe's people, but nonetheless, she passed. So she found her way in jail, found the Forsworn that are locked away in the jail as well which is basically a mine, a mine in Markarth. She served her time, was able to be released. Now that she knows that her people are indeed in Markarth jail, she's trying to gather more information about them, trying to find some information that might help her create this great escape. Surprisingly, there was a forsworn attack in the Markarth market upon her release from the mine. And the attack was done by a Forsworn agent, an undercover Forsworn agent. This agent killed a commoner who I think people are still looking at right now. Never leave the house. You want that ending? I wonder if her body is Your still there or if it's been cleaned up by the guards. You we'll go take a quick look. Out of fear? Is that what we're going to teach our daughter? Mama, why are no, you the body's been cleaned fighting? up. We're not fighting. We're just... Why don't I get you something to eat? Mama and Papa will talk later. Forsworn agent killed a commoner right here, right where Sia is looking, in plain sight. During the attack, Sia was also slipped a secret note from a complete stranger who looked interestingly enough like he might either be a Forsworn sympathizer or a Forsworn himself. Sia's objective for today, she's going to continue to find more information about the Forsworn, maybe talk to a few of the Markarth town people, see if anybody can tell her a little bit more information, and we're going to investigate a little bit more about this note that was given to her by this potential Forsworn sympathizer and see where things go from there. Let's go talk to this lady here because she was a full witness to the Forsworn attack in the market. Are you looking for a gift for a friend, perhaps? Or a lover let's have a little small talk see if we can eventually ask her a little bit more about the attack or even what she knows about the forsworn my family came here centuries ago we made a good living smithing the silver that flows through the city but you probably wanted to know about the fancy carvings and stonework didn't you sure Travelers always do here i have a delivery i need to make to calcimo why don't Who? you take it to him he knows the history of markarth better than anyone do we look like a delivery person to you? Sia is not a delivery person. She does not have time for this right now. Very well. Sorry. So Sia can't ask her anything about what she witnessed. That's a shame. Nobody knows or is aware that Sia is a Forsworn herself. Nobody realizes that she's an agent as well. In the distance, you can see the entrance to the jail, to the mine. Right where that guard is standing right there with that big entranceway, that should be the entrance to the mine which Sia is going to have to find a way back into. After the attack last night, she remembers a guard mentioning that the workers down by the smelter are apparently forsworn sympathizers. So she's decided to go down to the smelter, see if she can have a conversation or two with some of these workers and see if they might have anything that they can tell her, anything of use that can help her cause. Where are all the workers? It's 1.19 p.m. Are the citizens of Markarth this lazy that no one is working at 1.19 p.m.? This honestly baffles Sia. In her tribe, they work non-stop. They have no choice. They either work or it could mean their death. If there's no one on the lookout, if there's no one constantly upgrading their weapon, 
and their armor, if there's no one hunting, fishing, gathering, it could literally mean their death. And here at Markarth, they're so spoiled that they don't need to work for the majority of the day. Wow. Perhaps they're in here? The Warrens. Let's check. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? What can you do for us? Who are you? And what is this place? This looks like the slums. The slums of Markarth. Let's just see who this is. Garvey. The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What Our do you type. want? He's not very welcoming, is he? What are the Warrens? It's where you go when you can't afford a room anywhere else. Oh, I About see. About the time they opened the mines, someone got the idea to throw beds in here. Laborers, the sick, the lame, we're all oh. here. Oh. So this is basically where they throw the poor and the sick who can't afford a life, can't afford a living of their own. Markarth does look like it could be very expensive. So only the poor or the sick live here? That's right. Welcome to Markarth, Traveler. Thank the Divines you can choose to live somewhere else. Why don't you thank the Divines that you can right, be in Markarth without being murdered upon sight? You have no idea what you speak of. If you only knew. At least he can be in Markarth. She can't even show her true colors. If anyone knew she was a Forsworn, she'd be killed on sight. What's down here? She's just going to take a quick browse around. It looks like the majority of these rooms are locked, and it looks like they belong to people. Anything in here? There's nothing in here. Let's see if we can talk to this gentleman. Huh? She can ask him about the Forsworn. Don't get involved in that nonsense. Just want to work. All right, then. She should be a little careful. If everyone in the Warrens is potentially sick, she does not want to catch something herself and bring anything back to her clan. So she has to be a bit mindful. Let's not get too close to anyone that looks ill. It looks like those are the only two people we can talk to in here for now. So we might as well leave and go explore somewhere else. Are they back at work yet? They're not. Oh my goodness. There's somebody in this cage. He's twitching. It looks like he might still be alive. That's a horrible death. Wonder what he did to deserve that. This is the first time Sia has ever stepped foot in Markoth. She was born in the Reach with her tribe at her Cathspire camps. And she's never been within the city walls. So she's kind of amazed at what she's seeing. Uh, a nail? Is that what you call it? In the Legion, we would have called it useless. Look how brittle the metal. You Maybe she should leave them to their business. the metal all the way through? Jesus. Now do it again. Isn't that my job? What's this here? Your job. The Hag's Cure. Oh, this could potentially be some potions and such. This would definitely interest Sia. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. This is kind of neat. I love the way this looks. Everything is made of stone. It looks so majestic. Oh, this is definitely an alchemy shop. Perfect. Although, we don't have very much gold, do we? <gasps> Look how stocked this place is. She looks very interesting, doesn't she? Her markings seem familiar. Bothelia. The hag's cure is here for all your discreet needs. That's a unique name. <laughs> Comes with living to a ripe old age. People start thinking there's something magical about you. Then, the insults. Still, a little knowledge of plants and potions can get you by. Not that anyone likes to admit buying things from you. See? Hmm. I even have a little potion for the steward. Mind handing it over to him? 
Just say it should solve that problem he has. Oh, the steward has a problem, does he? Now this is interesting. Sia can accept the task of delivering a potion to the steward, which might work in her favor because the more she becomes accepted within Markarth, the better she can do her job. So perhaps, perhaps this is a task that would be in her benefit. Delivering this potion to the steward could put her in the steward and maybe potentially the Jarl's good books. She'll accept this one. Thank you. It'll also give her a reason to go into the palace. She's never seen it. So we can ask her about what she knows about the Forsworn. Sia has an idea that she might know quite a bit, but she's not going to just dive into asking about the Forsworn. That could come across as a bit suspicious. So let's ask her a little bit first about, you know, what do you know about Markarth? Hmm. We'd be better off without the Silverbloods. They send their brute, Ingvar, to shake some coins for me every few days. Silverbloods. And veteran Silverblood is always asking for more potions to fuel Thonar's ambitions. Gives him a temper fiercer than any bear. So she doesn't like the Silverbloods, that's for sure. They seem to be robbing her a bit of her potions and her store. Interesting. What do you know about the Forsworn? Only that they break an old woman's heart. So many friends, so many kin, all lost trying to rebuild a past that was over long ago. <gasps> Friend and kin? So she's a Forsworn sympathizer. She described the Forsworn as being friends and kin of the past, which means she has a tie with the Forsworn. She has history with the Forsworn. Perhaps she has family, friends that are still part of the Forsworn. Maybe she even self-identifies as being a Forsworn. Don't know, but she's definitely sympathetic. Zia's definitely wondering if there's a way that she could maybe get to know her a little bit better. Maybe have her on her side. Don't know. Let's see if there's a way to build up this relationship. Not sure yet, but we'll try. What have you got for sale? So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? <gasps> she has a conjurer's potion. She has two. 185 gold. We don't have enough. Oh no, she has Hagraven Claws and Hagraven Feathers. How did she acquire those? This is definitely a concern for Sia because unless a Hagraven donates their claws or feathers to you, the only other way you can acquire them is by killing them. Hagraven ingredients are highly sought over because they're potent and they can make some pretty powerful potions. So Sia's not in approval of anyone that's in possession of these ingredients unless they have been given to them by a hag raven so this is definitely a bit of a cause for concern but she doesn't have very many allies here in markar so she really can't be picky right now she needs to have some allies so that when the time comes she can get some help when she needs it now you let me know if you need a cure or anything else Love that war paint she has on. For the Forsworn, war paint signifies status as well. So that means the higher up you are within your clan, the more war paint you are allowed to put on your face. So that's why when you see Sia at the moment, her war paint is very minimal because she's just at the beginning stages. She hasn't really risen up in the ranks within her clan yet. She's actually not allowed to wear very much war paint at the moment. It would be nice if by doing this favor for her, by delivering the potion to the steward, if she would allow Sia to take a few potions once in a while. Let's just take a quick peek. Aha! Herbalist Guide to Skyrim. Let's read this. Very nice. Alchemy increased to 21. This was worthwhile coming in here. Definitely worthwhile. She stops for a minute just to look at the vastness of Markar. I mean, she always knew that it was a huge city looking from the outside in. Nothing she imagined was like this. Not even close. It is amazing to her and a bit intimidating. It also saddens her to know that the Forsworn once called this city their own until they were cast out. She's determined to find a way to bring her people back to their rightful home. 
Understone keep discovered. Okay, so I guess this is the main, the main kind of palace where the Jarl is potentially. Let's go find out. She feels like an ant in here. So massive. These Imperials are obviously not using what they've taken properly. She wants to find the steward, try to deliver the potion for his little problem. Where is everybody? Is everyone already asleep? These people are so spoiled. In her tribe, the night has just begun. She'll have to come back in the morning to deliver the potion. Let's take a look at that letter that she was suspiciously given. Eltree's note. Meet me at the Shrine of Talos. She's not in the habit of meeting anyone secretly like this, but she also has no choice. She's at a bit of a loss in terms of what to do next and what her options are. She needs to go speak with this man and see if he can help her in any way. Let's go ahead and level her up a bit before we do anything else. When your level increases, you must choose to increase your health, magicka, or stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time or save it for later. Available perks are highlighted in each constellation. So this is her first level up. Everything right now is at a base level of 100. So what would make the most sense for her to level up at this moment? She definitely is going to have a few battles coming her way in the next little bit. And she'll need, I think, as much health and stamina as possible. Her Magicka, she will definitely be leveling up. But she can take a little bit more time to kind of bring that up as her studies increase. So let's go ahead and level up her health for now. For this first level up, let's focus on her two-handed. And her weapons will do 20% more damage. I think that's good. Yes, thank you. Barbarian! That sounds about right. <laughs> I think this is where we're supposed to go. To meet that guy who gave us the note. Shrine of Talos, this is it. Alright, let's go see. She trusts no one. So, she's just going to be on her guard a little bit. Okay, she's she's not taking any chances. Why have you brought me here? Who are you? I'm sorry to drag you into Markarth's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. Speak quickly. Who are you? What are you talking about? You want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. A Watch man your goes tone. crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. Is he a sympathizer? Or is he against the forsworn? You want me to find out what's going on? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. Who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn? Find evidence about Margaret? Find evidence about Wayland? C is very confused. Whose side is he on? And what's this all to him? What's in this for him? She's just going to play a little innocent. Act like she has no idea who the Forsworn are. To get a better sense of where he's coming from. This Eltris. So let's just play a little dumb for a little while. Who are the Forsworn? They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The okay. lords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. Yes, they that did. About 20 years ago. But somehow they're still here, and they're killing people. And this is a problem for you, is it? So he's obviously not a Forsworn sympathizer or with the Forsworn in any way. It sounds like he's trying to stop them. You've looked into these murders? Yes. It all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines. Rare for anyone who isn't a Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Forsworn. Mm. I've been trying to find out why ever since. 
gotten nowhere so far. And then I got married. I have a child of my own on the way. Do you? I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. If you're smart, you will give up. You'll stop now. Because if you're not with the Forsworn, you're against the Forsworn. And that's a problem we may need to take care of down the road. So who was this Waylon? Where did he live? He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Waylon except a he smelter lives in the worker. Warrens, like all the other workers. He lives in the Warrens? Did we meet him when we went in there? Did we speak to Waylon already? It's possible she's already met him. And who's this Margaret? She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silver Blood Inn. We have her key. We stole her key from her body after she was murdered. <laughs> Be careful who you talk to. Is that all he has to tell us? What's with his face tattoos, though? These are forsworn markings. She's sure of it. So if he's so against the Forsworn, why does he wear their war paint? What does she have next that she's supposed to do for the Forsworn conspiracy? Eltris has asked me to uncover evidence surrounding the woman in Markarth's marketplace. That's Margaret, who was attacked in broad daylight by a man claiming to be a member of the Forsworn. Go to the Shrine of Talos, which we've just completed, find evidence about Margaret, we're probably going to have to find her room. He mentioned that she was most likely staying at the inn. So we will go and look there. And then five, find evidence about Waylon as well. So let's have her return to the inn. She wants to go see if she can find Margaret's room. Let's go see what information we can find about Margaret. And while we're at it, see if there's anything we can loot from her room. She won't be needing it anymore. So it must be this room up here. She has the key to the room. So she should be able to unlock it, but she doesn't want to be seen. Can she sneak and do this? Detected? Okay, now. Oh, is this coin? Definitely stealing that. We're taking everything we can. Okay, we're searching for evidence. Let's check the end table. Her journal! Okay, let's read the journal. The more information she can gather for herself without having to share it, the better. Find evidence about Thanar. Who's Thanar? Let's read and find out. Meeting at the treasury house later today took them long enough. These people act like they own everything. Thanar Silverblood, oh, Thanar's a Silverblood, is the younger brother, but he's obviously the one in charge. Makes all the deals and bullies local landowners into selling to him even employs that wispy girl at the door to deter troublemakers like me. He has a girl guarding the door? General Talius is growing impatient, but I'll bring back the deed to Sidden Mine. The deed? On my life, I won't allow a group of Stormcloak sympathizers to own the prison to the most notorious criminals of the Reach. They say no one escapes. Why? Is it really that secure? Maybe I've played my hand too soon by rushing the confrontation with Anar. The there are shadows around every corner in the city, and I know I'm being watched. We're going to keep that journal, and if we can keep it away from Elytri, I think that's his name, we will. So Sia's going to sneak back out, hopefully unseen. Excellent. Sia is tired. It's 2.45 a.m., but she's not paying another 45 gold to sleep in this inn tonight. We're going to head down to the Warrens, and she's just going to sleep there. You. I've <gasps> seen you snooping around. What's going asking on? Asking questions. Asking questions? Back off. You don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. Back off? Because we've been asking questions about the Forsworn? What's really going on here in Markarth? She's not going to go full-blown crazy hard right now because she still has a lot of information to gather and a lot of work to do. But she might give a little sass, for sure. So what happens? I'm curious. Funny. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. So they really, really want to keep the word about the Forsworns 
on a rap. Like they don't want to cause any commotion. You're not even allowed to ask questions about them. They obviously fear the Forsworn, as they should. But this has done nothing other than add fuel to the fire. And now Sia is even more motivated to get down to business. She will stay clear of the sick and just find a quiet corner to herself just to get a little rest. Okay, Sia's gonna tuck herself away in here for the night. She feels safe in here. Gives her a pretty good advantage. No one can really sneak up behind her because it's a stone wall. So if they do want to attack, they have to come from the front. And she can be ready for that. We'll give her four hours. Okay, it's morning. Oh, and here are all the workers at the smelter. Everyone's heading off to work. Now that the workers are out, let's go talk to them and see if they have any more information they want to share about the Forsworn. You're not one of my workers. What are you doing here? Definitely not one of your workers. I'm looking into the market attack. Oh, Do you know yes, anything? Waylon. Bastard could have at least gone crazy after we made our silver quota. Waylon. I had questions about Whatever Waylon. Whatever you want to know, I don't care. I run the smelter. That's it. You must know something. No, I don't. Fine. Do you care about money? That amount, I can. Do you know anything now? Fine. I did notice something odd the last time we handed out the pay. Little extra slip of paper for Waylon. Took it right to his room after he got it. Okay. I'm supposed to. She's supposed to obtain the key to his room. Do you have the key? You want Garvey. He handles the keys for the Warrens. Garvey? About the only thing that disease riddled native is good for. What about the Forsworn? Have you heard about them? Every other day, seems one of the laborers runs off to the hill saying he'll join the Forsworn. You don't like the Nords? Fine. But pledging your whole life to killing them, that's just dumb. Until you've been treated ill like the Forsworn have and gone through what we've gone through, you have no idea what you speak of. He's told us all he knows. Do you know Waylon? The Forsworn? That's right, I'll say it. We all knew. Even that fat-headed slave-driving Mullish knew. Waylon was Forsworn. <sighs> Another honest man lost in all this madness. And for what? She's not blind to the fact that there are guards up there watching her as she's talking to the workers. She's still asking a lot of questions. She needs to be on her guard. This who we're supposed to speak to for the key? This is him. What do you want? Did you know Waylon? Oh yes. I know everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. I need the key to Waylon's room. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. I need that key! I wasn't asking. And I wasn't stuttering. No key. Before she kills him to get the key, let's see if she can pick the lock. It's novice, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Nudge it just a little bit more. I think we might get it. Yes! Keep your damn key. Okay, she's in. What is she looking for? What's in here? Waylon's note. Let's read that. Find evidence about Waylon completed. Find out who N is. Waylon, you've been chosen to strike fear in the heart of the Nords. Go to the market tomorrow. You will know what to do. Now she's understanding. So Waylon was the Forsworn infiltrator that killed Margaret in the market the other night. Let's take the note. Oh, well, we already read the note, but we'll do it again just to complete the quest. And there's some good items in here, too. Bear pelt. Elk hide. Ten gold. Very nice. She'll take all of it. Let's take a quick look at the quest again just to see where we are at. We still have to find evidence about Thanar. Read Waylon's note, which technically we did, but we'll do it again. And find out who N is. I don't think he's noticed a thing, idiot. She is very tempted to kill him. We'll see you again soon. Can I You've help been you? Digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. And who's gonna teach it to me? 
You? How about you first? Let's go. Come on. Who is this? Let's see what you're made of. Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on. See, it's been fist fighting since she was born. Who are you? You will learn. You will learn your place. Your is dead. Am I? Because you seem to be the one falling. Know your place. I hope you drown. You mangy piece of pit bait. Talk, or I send you to the gods. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. He told me to make sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know, I Guess swear. Guess we discovered our N. Wait. Nepos is in charge. That's all I know. Is he going into the Warrens? We're following him in. Let's see if we can take him out. You don't talk to me that way. This is for the Forsworn. Learn your place. Die. Let this be a message for Nepos. He has a note. Friend. Got to deal with a certain nosy visitor in the city. Nepos the Nose wants them roughed up in the usual way. But I can grab a pint at the Silver Blood Inn afterwards. Should be easy. Driston. Gold, lockpick, and he doesn't deserve to die with honor. We're gonna leave him bare. She's still looking for some more evidence. Here, what is this place? Nepo's house? We'll definitely enter. She should be careful here. This is the girl that guards Excuse the house. Excuse me, what's your business here? Who are you? If you must know, I'm the maid. And the master of the house is old and needs his rest. So if you don't have any business, leave. the maid. Wait, it's okay. Was she approaching us? Send her in. <laughs> you should really back away. Yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. Learn your place, maid. Aren't we living large? So this is Nepos, our infamous N. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. Are you? She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? She's not going to beat around the bush. Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well, you've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years, sending the young to their deaths, all in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. Here, here. So tired. I wish she could tell him that she's also a Forsworn. Because my king told me to. Madanok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how. He's in the he mines. Lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. King? There's a Forsworn king in the mines? Sia must have already met him. Can you tell me more about Madanok? He is the king in rags. A man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city. Directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine. A Nord Wow. Prison. The irony is quite thick. So Sia's Briarheart must have known must have known that Madanuk was in the mines. Why didn't he tell her that such an important person was in the mines? So he's an elder. He's a forsworn elder. I wonder if he was ever a Briarheart. Would make sense. Why is he telling her all this so calmly? He's not aggressive. He's just offering up the information. My dear girl, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? No! You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. But we're also Forsworn! Don't attack! I'm sorry. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let's see if we can take this outside. Maybe if we can take this outside, guards will help us? 
Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I've got some fight left in me. You've already lost. Why is everyone just standing around? <laughs> Nobody's helping. I won't go down the so you do. Back away! There's no escape. Is no one gonna help her? I'll make you pay. Are these guards just standing around? You're ready to die today, huh? Are they following her? They are! Oh my goodness! Old, but I can put up a fight. Okay, okay. She, she's gonna have to take them to her forsworn people. They don't know she's forsworn! So we're gonna lure them. She's gonna lure them. She's gonna lure them to her forsworn clan. Because that's the only way. She needs help. Okay, follow if you must. I won't go down so easily. It's too bad because she doesn't want to kill him. I may be old, but I can But he's leaving her no choice. I think it's this way. I think it's this way. Ah! <laughs> no! Okay, she's used the conjure familiar. We'll see if that helps. Why did she kill her own familiar? That makes no sense. This is the bridge. This is the bridge where her people are, where her clan is. Yes! They're helping! Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, brothers! It was the only way! She would never have killed him on her own. What does he have? Napos's journal? Let's read this. I grow guilt-ridden in my old age. So many of the young sent to their deaths. All in the name of Forsworn. All in the name of Madanash. My king, from who watches us from behind the iron bars of Sidna Mine. How long have I served you? Since the uprising against the Nords? Was there ever even a time when all that violence hasn't overshadowed our destinies. What choice do I have but to do as I'm instructed? Oh man, Sia feels horrible, almost as if she's betrayed her own people by killing him, but he left her no choice. He didn't even give her an opportunity to explain. She'll take his sword, his gold. She now has a key to his house. There might be some more information in there for her that might be useful, but first, She'll have to kill the rest of his group. Thank goodness for her forsworn people here. And I don't think they recognize him either. To them, he's probably just some rich Nord. Why would her Briarheart send her on this mission? Knowing that it was the king of the forsworn that's in the mine. How did he expect Sia to do this on her own? Or did he? Did he expect Sia to make it back alive? Maybe he didn't. She doesn't know what to think. She doesn't know who to trust. But right now, all that matters is her survival. Just give up. I'll be ready to die today, huh? She basically has to lure them all to their death one by one. <laughs> If that's what it takes, then come! Yes, you're next. Follow me. Last one, brother. We'll do it together. For the Forsworn! They may have still killed her regardless, even after they found out she was forsworn, because they're not of the same tribe. And clearly their mission was to protect Nepos, at any cost. So while she does feel some regret for having to kill her fellow brothers and sisters, they were necessary kills. They were necessary deaths. They were standing in the way of her mission. Nepos's house should be cleared out now, so she's going to return and see if there's anything else she can find in there that might be of value or information that she could use. 
Looks like she should be safe now. We have a chest. Let's see what's in here. Ten gold. That's it? How did they succeed in keeping their identity a secret for so long? A mage backpack. She'll definitely take that. Is there anything in here? <gasps> what is this? We were able to unlock it with this key. Steel Dagger of Dismay? Creatures and people up to level 5 flee from combat for 30 seconds. Amazing. There's another chest here. Goat hide, gold, and a roll of paper. Greater Soul Gem? Mystery of Talara? Illusion increased to 21. She doesn't use illusion magic, but she can take this book and sell it. These fine clothes might help her to continue have a disguise. She'll take those as well. So it doesn't look like she's finding any new information, but she's definitely gotten some great resources and an amazing dagger. So the last thing she has to do is find evidence about Thanor. This is where she's supposed to go, apparently. The treasury house. Let's go see what this is all about. The treasury house is really just for patrons of the Silverblood family. You don't belong here. Rude. Tell me more about the Silverbloods. It's an old family. Very well respected throughout the Reach. The Silverbloods run nearly all the lands in this hold, as well as the local inn. And of course they own Sidna Mine, the finest prison and source of silver in Skyrim. That's way too much power. So the Silverbloods are the ones holding the Forsworn captive. And who's in charge? You want Thonar Silverblood. He handles all the family business. If you're here to talk politics, though, you'd want his brother, Thongvor. He spends most of his time in Understone Keep. What I want is for them to both be dead. I'd like to speak with him. I'm afraid he's asked not to be disturbed. He has important business. Sia's just going to pay this time. I mean, it is gold she stole, so it's nothing out of her pocket. Let's see if this works. Riches are a gate opener around here. Head Good. Right in. Good. Let's just take note of how many properly. people are in here. Oh, stop in case we have to fight our way like out an again. Idiot. That's three. A bit, girl. Why, when I was in the temple? The temple veteran? Four with him you over here. Odds are they have lots of protection. Let's see if we can do this peacefully. Doubtful. Thanor, I presume? What are you doing here? I told them no visitors. I paid my way in. Maybe we could pretend like we're against the Forsworn? They're crazy. Think they rule the Reach. Well, guess who really runs things around here? Me. Let me guess, the Silverbloods? I, I make the coin pass to the right hands. That answer your damn questions. Now get out. Who just yelled that? By the gods, veterans. Oh my gosh! Okay, let's... Oh my gosh, let's try this new... Let's try the new dagger we got. Oh my goodness, not again! Forsworn forever! Who is yelling Forsworn Forever? <gasps> True Nords never back down. What's happening? We can't help her. We can't help her. If we try to help her, we'll lose our disguise. You won't get away from me. I love a challenge. Oh my gosh, should we help her? Oh well. That's the last of them. We can't. She was a Forsworn. My wife. They killed her. Damn Madanok. Damn his Forsworn backside. There are Forsworn infiltrators throughout Markarth. Will you talk now? Fine. You want to know what the Forsworn really are? They're my puppets. I have their king rotting in Sidna Mine. He was supposed to keep them under control. What a son of a... What a son of a gun! You made a deal with the Forsworn? When their uprising was crushed. I had Madanak brought to me. 
He was a wild animal, but a useful one. I offered him a stay from execution if he used his influence to deal with any annoyances that came up. Competitors, agents, idiots. So I've let him run his little forsworn rebellion from inside Sidna Mine. Now he's he out knew. of control. So you want him dead. She's going to play innocent. She's going to play dumb. Nobody knows she's a Forsworn. The Forsworn have a king. Madanach. The king in rags. While we were off fighting the elves in the Great War, Madanach was busy ruling over the Reach. Until Ulfri came and put them down. She knows of this Madanach. There are stories and tales told of him. But everyone thought he was dead. So what is it? You want us to help you take care of him, I'm guessing? You already got what you wanted, you damn hound. This is your fault. You and Madanak are animals, and I'll see you both rot to death in Sidna Mine for this. Now get out of my house! What a bastard. <clears throat> I wish we could have helped her. Oh, she has a key. We will take that. We'll leave. Somebody was disintegrated? What is this? Ring of Minor Magicka? Beautiful. A necklace of resist magicka increases magic resistance by 10%? That was his wife. We better go. We better go. She's leaving. She's leaving. Sophia leaves. Infuriated. The moment the opportunity arises for her to kill him and any other silver blood, you better believe she's taking it. She's gathered all the evidence that she needed. So the only thing left for her to do now is to return to Eltris. Is that a guard? That is a guard, isn't it? <gasps> Two guards! We warned you, but you had to just go and cause trouble. What? Now we have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence what? Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. Oh my gosh, is that... Ultras in the background there? Murdered? That is him. These filthy guards, they murdered him. What did you do to him? Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Thonar and Madanach until you and Eltris started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the king in rags when you're in Sidna Mine. We're we going back to the mine? Because that's actually where we want to go. If they're putting her back in the mine, then we'll just go quietly. Especially now that she knows the king is there. So, fine. I'll come quietly. You'll never see the sun again, you hear me? We'll no see about that. Sidna mine. We'll no see! One. Started. No one escapes Sidna Mine. Ask a prisoner about Madanok. Well, we are back in the mine, friend! <laughs> I am very excited to see what happens next. This is exactly where Sia needs to be at this moment. Things are getting juicy. We are gonna leave things here for today. If you're excited to see what happens next too, and you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that and hit that notification bell so that you know when the next episode is gonna be uploaded. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do go ahead and hit that like button to let me know that you're having a good time. Thank you so much for spending time with me today and I'll see you in the next video.